Can you believe we are talking about cyber attacks and threats because of a Seth Rogen movie? This really is an extraordinary moment. What was thought of as a silly, maybe lousy comedy just a few weeks ago has now become a symbol of two of America's greatest values, freedom of expression and freedom from fear. I want to say that one again, freedom from fear. Let's hear it again, freedom from fear. Well, the North Korean government swears it had nothing to do with the recent cyber terrorism against Sony Entertainment, yet also swears it will retaliate if America doesn't allow them to have a joint investigation into who was responsible. What comes to bear here is the title of a 1970s album by Joe Walsh. You can't argue with a sick mind. Let's make some sense of what might be behind this communist curtain. Welcome back to Midpoint. Features reporter and editor for CNBC.com with a special interest in covering North Korea, He Sun Wee. He Sun, thank you so much for being here again. Hi there, my pleasure. We see what the North Korean government is saying, that they are not behind this, that it's the American government that is trying to make them out to be nothing more than the bad guy here. In honesty, those of you who cover North Korea, don't you have a wry smile that crosses your lips when you hear this? knowing full well that this is exactly the kind of rhetoric you will always hear from the North Korean government. No, I think that's an interesting point. There were some reviews of the actual film that came out over the weekend. I'm summarizing here. It's kind of a innocent bromance between two journalists who are sent over to interview Kim Jong-un. But you have to keep in mind the context, like you pointed out, the rhetoric that happens inside North Korea. Kim Jong-un, in essence, is portrayed as their god. And this film is actually, you know, portrays a blasphemous act against their leaders. So in their eyes, this film is a potentially very, very big threat they are taking seriously. With regard to the people then in North Korea, and again, we know it's a very closed society, a very tight communist society here. But in your estimation, what's the percentage of people, let's say, outside of the, the government themselves? They seem to know pretty much everything that goes on. They're the ones skimming the money off the top and still living very high on the hog. But the people themselves in North Korea who have any idea of what's happening in the outside world with regard to this film and this discourse? I think it's highly unlikely for the vast majority of North Koreans, whether they've heard about the film or actually seen footage, I think the chances are very, very small. Again, you have to keep in mind accessing foreign media, being caught actually seeing a foreign DVD is a punishable offense at the moment inside North Korea. If anyone has heard of this film or seen footage, we're talking about the senior leadership of the Secret Service of North Korea, that kind of inner, inner circle of Kim Jong-un, if you will. Now, there was a statement made by the National Defense Commission that warned of strikes against the White House, Pentagon, and, quote, the whole U.S. mainland, that cesspool of terrorism, unquote. Is this, again, just rhetoric, or should we be concerned, maybe, that we're reaching a point with this government where something really drastically stupid could happen. I think you can look at all these comments in the context of Kim Jong-un and the leadership trying to figure out how much they can get away with, right? Mm. At the end of the day, Kim Jong-un is a very young leader. He's, he's in his early 30s. He's been in rule for about, what, ballpark two years. He doesn't have a lot of experience. Also, you have to keep in mind that between the defense and other key positions, there is a revolving door of candidates at the moment. And Kim Jong-un is very, very worried right now about loyalty within his regime. So therefore, he is actually quite paranoid about this film getting into the hands of the elite in his country. He's very, very wary of his kind of broad elite circle and trying to gauge who is loyal to him and the dynasty, basically. I only got about 20 seconds left. Would you see somebody in that inner circle perhaps one day soon taking a quote-unquote shot at the great leader? I don't know if I can answer that question, but I think, you know, North Korea watchers, all the diplomats are asking the right questions. How do we respond and go from here? It's one thing to target uh, movie theaters and to target freedom of expression of content. The conversation has now expanded to concerns about power plants and other mm -hmm. infrastructure inside this country being a potential target, and a broader conversation about security, no matter who you work for, whether it's go. Sony or another company. All right. He Sun Wee of CNBC.com, thank you so much for your time. We'll look forward to the next time we speak. Midpoint continues.